Welcome to another edition of the AlterEgos.com training tutorial videos. In this particular tutorial, we're going to discuss how to create a collection in the Notification Server 6X console. Very first thing we're going to do is look at the console and start it up, already open here. Now we want to just go in and we want to get to uh, our collection pages. So we'll be able to go in just anywhere, maybe resources. See, we've got resource management, we've got collections, and we've got resources. What I want to do is go ahead and open our collections, computer collections, and my collections. This is really just an area to store collections. You can do it anywhere you want in any of these directories. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to go in and I want, oh, let's go ahead and install the uh, VS Flex 8 cab. Wait for that to get through. Once we've got that finished, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a collection. And just for information, there's two basic type of collections that you can create. You can create a dynamic and you can create a static. I'll walk through and I'll explain the differences as we're going through. All right. So very first thing we're going to want to do, right click on the directory of your choice. I should bring up a context menu. We want to go in and we want to select new. And then we want to go ahead and select collection. Go ahead and close over my part here. Now it's going to bring up a window and name. Choose whatever you want. Let's go ahead and start out with dynamic collection. Then in the description, you can put in whatever you want. Then we can go in and we can do a query, which would be what we would use for a dynamic collection. And then we can do a resource type, none, or enter SQL directly. I typically like to go in and enter SQL directly. All right, so now that we've opened this up, we want to enter the SQL directly. And I'm just going to enter something from memory here so that we can just go ahead and start. But basically from a dynamic query, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to create a collection of systems that meet a certain criteria. In this case, what I want to do is I want to create a collection of systems on my notification server that are in a specific domain and are managed by the Alteris notification server. So we will be able to gather that information from the vcomputer table. So very first thing, I'm going to go select statement, GUID. All I need for a collection is the GUID. I don't need to worry about getting the names of the computers or anything like that. That information will be shown up. From a collection perspective, all I'm interested in is in a GUID. What I've done here is I've selected the GUID from the vcomputer table where the domain field within vcomputer table equals NIC and is managed equals one. Is managed lets us know whether or not it is managed by the notification server. One means that yes it is, zero means no it's not. So now that I've done that, what I can do is I'll go in, I'll select test. Just wanna make sure that it works. And we can see the name of the computer is video. And this is the one I'm using it on right now, and that's the GUID. We we'll go ahead and close. That means it's successful. So now if I go down a little bit, I'll click apply. And we can see this there. So if I bring this back open, we'll see that I've got my dynamic collection. Video name is Nick, and we got all the information that we would have seen typically. So we're absolutely fine there. So now, next thing, let's show you how to take and make it a static. So I'm just going to go back in. Let me close this back over. Select my edit icon. And let's close the query up. Actually, let's just go ahead and do none. And close it back up. And then we're going to go down to the next one, explicit inclusions and exclusions. Go ahead and open that. And here we go, inclusions. Let's go resources included in this collection. So we're going to select a resource. 
and it's going to take us to our resource type which is computers and then it's going to refresh now I'm going to be, have the ability to take and drop down and select if I want any of the specific domains. Maybe I've got multiple OS names, server names, name like. So, you know, we'll be able to go in here and under the same criteria, we want to say Nick. And then maybe we want to just say um, video because I know video is the name of the uh, server that I want. Go and click find and there we have it so I'll click OK guess it might help if I selected it just go ahead real quick video find click OK OK again. And we can now see that we have a single resource within this. If I go, go and click apply, see it's now the same thing. Now I can change this as well. I need to go back up because obviously it's not a dynamic collection any longer. Change that to static and static. Click apply. And there you have it. Now other things of note that I want to show you about when it comes to collections. We can also create collections within a collection. So let's say for example you're going through and you've got multiple classrooms within a building, multiple labs, you name it. You'll be able to go in and you could make a collection of each one of those labs. Let's call it lab one, lab two, class one, class two, etc. School one, school two, fire department, police department, you name it. We well, could make individual collections of that. Well now you could go in and you could select collections and make it part of a master collection, so to speak. Other things you can do is exclusions. So maybe as an example, you've got an entire collection of every computer within your environment, but you know that there is a subgroup or another collection of systems that you want to exclude from a task or a policy. You could go in and you could select the individual resource or a collection and then add that as an exclusion. And what that would mean is anytime you add it as an example, static collection to a software delivery job or an inventory policy or something of that nature, and you had these exclusions in it as a individual resource or as a collection, those exclusions would not be affected by the policy that this particular collection had been used as a target for. I hope that's pretty straightforward in the explanation on the way collections are used and how they're created. Please come back and visit us for more tutorials and videos in the future. Thank you. Have a great day.